But they killed him, not, not crucified him, but it appeared so to them. So two things, this reflects Gospels that come from the late 2nd century, right up into the 4th and the 6th and the 7th. That kind of idea is in the Quran, but it's different from the 150 years that preceded those Gospels, where all of the people uniformly say, Jesus died on that cross! For Simon of Cyrene, one of the disciples of Jesus, who was given his appearance and he was put on the cross and when he was crucified, when Simon was crucified, Jesus was standing right next to the cross laughing at the Romans that they have actually crucified the wrong man. historical events. Okay, so what are you referring to in So particular? why does the author of the Quran not understand the historical events as everyone else taught them? Everything that Christianity believes and stands on rests on what happened on that particular date. Now, we don't know the actual date in history, but it's the event that I'm going to be talking about and Hatun and I are going to be discussing a very important event. And this event, as many of you know, we call today, we call it Easter. But a lot of people don't necessarily know what Easter is all about and why it's even important. In fact, just recently, I heard and actually I read a statistic that said that many, many young people in this country do not even believe the person about what Easter is all about. Do not believe that the man Jesus, who of course is at the heart of the Easter story, that he didn't even exist. This is what many young people in Europe now believe. We are going to ask some interesting questions. We are going to respond to that disbelief among many young people. And we are going to ask some very important historical questions. We are going to ask historical questions on the Christian message and we're going to ask historical questions on the Quranic Islamic message and we're going to do a comparison we're going to do a comparison so we have you have the Quran on one side you have the Bible on the other side and the message about Jesus is the complete opposite Hatun, you've done some research into this area 75 percent the same Quran and Bible so how can it be opposite some of the <laughs> answers the you came up here. with hmm? and it really helped me here. even oh. in my own faith. <laughs> so I want to discuss that with the crowd today. Okay. So we're going to ask some historical questions about two books, Hatun. Okay. We both have a Quran and we both have a Bible. Yeah. But how on earth do we know what is written in these two books is even true? Not how can that. we even know? This gentleman <laughs> says none of them. But actually, there's a way we can um, unpack this and we can begin to respond to which one is historically reliable. So we're going to ask those historical questions. Now turn to you, what is one of the most important questions you can ask of Muslims and Christians when it comes to the whole story of Jesus and then the crucifixion event on which Christianity is based on? So, when I look at both two books, one of them is Quran, other one is Bible, both of them makes very big claims about the crucifixion of Jesus. Bible starts from Genesis chapter 3 to Revelation, talks about Jesus is going to die on the cross and then he dies on the cross. Quran just gives me one verse and tells me actually Jesus didn't die on the cross. So I want to find out because both of the books cannot be true. I want to find out which book is more reliable. Okay, so one book has a lot of details about the crucifixion events. The other book has one verse that denies the crucifixion. So the Quran, just one, not one verse denies the crucifixion. There is only one verse about crucifixion. Okay, so there's one verse in the Quran about the crucifixion. There are many verses in the Bible about the crucifixion and of course uh, the whole history that leads up to the crucifixion. In fact, isn't it right, Hatun, that this book, the Bible, the whole Bible is probably 
probably pointing to the crucifixion. Yes. Or is pointing to the crucifixion. It is pointing to the crucifixion. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to ask historical questions of the one verse that's in here that denies the crucifixion and the many verses in here that say the crucifixion happened. What is the first question that you would ask? So first question I would ask, uh, did Jesus die on the cross or not? Okay. Okay. Now Hatun, there's many young people in this country who think Jesus didn't even exist. That's shame of like that. So. <laughs> I would love to get the name of the historians, serious historians who tell Jesus wasn't exist. Bible tells me Jesus was exist. I've got historians from first century tells me Jesus was exist and he died on the cross. I've got Quran who tells me Isa was exist, who introduced me is introduced Isa to me as a Jesus. So I think I've got more than enough evidence to be convinced that Jesus was exist. So you're saying there is both internal evidence that's inside the Bible says he existed and external evidence that say he existed of the historians that are writing in the first century of the time this book was being written, correct? Yes, yes that's okay. correct. Okay. And they also confirm the crucifixion, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so we have a book then that comes 600 years later that denies, or 700 years, maybe even 800 years if you understand the history of the Quran, that comes many, many years later and then denies all of history, denies the previous six to 700 years of history. So we now need to ask the question, which book got history accurate? Did the Bible record history accurately or did the, did the Quran record history accurately? Okay, so first question I am going to ask is, did when the Bible claims Jesus died on the cross, I am asking, did anyone saw when Jesus was on the cross. Did anyone see he died? So we're going to look at the witnesses. Did yes. the witnesses, are there any witnesses to this event, to the crucifixion? Yes. Are there witnesses in the Bible and those who would have been for Jesus and those who would have been against Jesus? Okay, before that, can we first, let's look at the, what Bible says. Okay. Where does Bible says Jesus died and where does Quran says Jesus okay. didn't die? Okay, let's go to those verses, Hatun. Okay. You look at the Bible, I look at the Quran. <laughs> the question, you know when Jesus resurrected that I'm going to heaven, did his body go to heaven? Yep. Well, well, the whole night. Do you want to look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can. Listen. Death of Jesus are, is me, you, recognized. Are you going to answer my gospel. question? Just a moment, sir. No, hold on. Let's I want to know. Let's first Jesus, establish in that Jesus in, died oh, on, on the cross. Yeah, but let's he first go that and fact went to and then talk, talk to Just them. Okay, know. so I'm going to the book of Luke. Okay, so tell us who is Luke. Luke is uh, was a, a doctor. He was a researcher. He was a learned man. He was a man who sought out the, eye, the eyewitnesses who saw the event and he researched it to make sure it was accurate. He talks about this at the very beginning of his book and then he writes down what the eyewitness has said. I can go to one of the eyewitnesses. Maybe it's better if I go to one of the eyewitnesses. No, 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 no just no. This is better because am I right to understand Luke wasn't friends with Jesus? Yes, he wasn't. So he is someone who is re doing research yes. and writing about the crucifixion. He's like a historian. Okay. Okay, let's go with that one. Can you read us? For, can you read for us if it does Jesus died on or he didn't uh, die? The crucifixion of Jesus. So we have here the death of Jesus. It was now about noon. We're looking at Luke chapter 23, verse 44. And darkness was over the land until three in the afternoon, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out in a loud voice, Father into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Then it says the centurion, that's the Roman soldier, the Roman who had killed him, said this. He saying what had happened. He praised God and he said, surely this was a righteous man. So when Jesus died, he recognized something profound had happened. And he recognized who Jesus was. He recognized this was a holy, righteous man. When all the people who had gathered to witness, there's lots of witnesses, they saw this and what had taken place. They beat their breasts and they walked away. That's a sign of mourning. All those who knew him, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching this, watching what was happening. So, Luke is writing and telling me that Jesus died and there are the people who 
saw Jesus and it died. looks like there were many witnesses who saw Jesus die. Okay. Can you give me something before Luke? Do you have anything that tells you that Jesus died? Yep, we can go to Matthew. Marcos in fact, we can go to Mark and we can go to 1 Corinthians. But let's, yeah, let's go to Mark. <laughs> So we have here at Mark, this is an eyewitness, sir. <laughs> and it says this in Mark. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three in the afternoon, Jesus cries out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lemma sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with wine, put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus. Now leave him alone. See, let's see if Elijah comes to take him down. So they're misunderstanding who he's calling right there. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. Now this is an eyewitness, sir. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who was standing in front of Jesus saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Some women were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, the mother of James the, young, the, mother of James the Younger, and Joseph and Salmon. In Galilee, these women had followed him, so they were his disciples. They knew who he was, who had come up with Jesus to Jerusalem. So, you gave me two accounts. You gave me a passage from Luke Gospel and from Mark Gospel, and you told me that Jesus died. Yes. And you have people who saw when Jesus died. Yes. So, sadly, from the Quran, I can give you only one verse. Okay. Let me read the verse for you. It is from Surah 4, verse 157. And they are saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, no, they did crucify him, but was other made resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. Interesting. So I have got one verse, which is approximately 40 Arabic words out of the Quran. And then tells me Jesus didn't die. I am sorry that when you read for me, you told me it was more, it was around three o'clock in the afternoon from the Marcos book. Sadly, from the Quran, I cannot tell you when it was. I can only think I can tell you that it wasn't Jesus, it was someone else. Now Hatun, isn't this very tip Ron will often make a statement but not give you any of the context, not give you any of the details. So it makes a statement and it's usually if it's talking about Isa disagreeing with what the previous revelation had said. Makes a statement, gives no context, gives no details. So as a result, we have this random statement that's op in opposition to the Bible of the whole of the Old and New Testament. Hatun, that is very telling to me because there's two reasons why this may be true. First of all, if a book is based on oral tradition, you don't expect to have details. If a book is based on human traditions, not divine, you would expect just to have a general statement that is a claim of that religion in opposition to other religions. But that would be typical of oral tradition, man-made traditions passed on. There are not details in the Quran, just a statement against other truth claims. What is fascinating, it doesn't say why this is important it just makes the statement and I find that very interesting it doesn't give you a clear picture of history so for us to understand what was happening in that time we need to go back to hadith we need to go back to commentaries and then understand what was happening so, why and the hadith of the saints of Muhammad saints and doings of Muhammad mm -hmm. but Sadly, I cannot, I cannot find anything in commentaries regarding crucifixion. So, all Quran, all Quran is silent, gives me only one verse out of 6,236 verse. Only one verse, which is approximately 40 Arabic words, tells me, guys, by the way, Jesus didn't die. Okay. Is it possible?
Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, so all these claims you're making. Uh, Which ones? We're talking about the Quranic claim. Let's read the Quranic yeah. claim. And because of this saying, we killed Messiah Isa, son of Maryam, which is a title of Jesus, Isa ibn Maryam, that started much later in about the 4th century onwards. So that's very intriguing that this Quran includes a title of Jesus that starts or became very popular in the 4th century among heretical Christian groups. But let me continue. So Isa ibn Maryam, and they killed him not, nor crucified him. But it, but it appeared to them. So it appeared that Jesus was crucified to them. I was put over another man. That's very interesting because Hatun, what does that say about Allah? Okay, can I, can I? So, can, if it was someone else. Can I can ask a question? Yes, just one, um, sir. Let's let, 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 let let ask the question first. Uh, so, it tells me, uh, in somehow, Allah doesn't want it to be Jesus on the cross and then he picks someone else to put on the cross and uh, he makes everyone to believe that actually Jesus. Okay, so Adnan, how would you respond to that? What is your Muslim response to that, or theological response to Firstly, that? Firstly, very quickly, you know, there are second century sources, uh, such as the Talmud, they call Jesus, they call Jesus the son of Mary, by the way, if you didn't know, the if you didn't know. Says, so, the people say, isn't he the son of Mary? But when it becomes a title, as he's always and often referred to, not always, often referred to in the Quran, that title is very much in place from the fourth century. The Quran okay. refers to Jesus with titles such as Rasulullah, the yes. Messenger of God, yeah. uh, Nabi Allah, Spirit, Spirit Allah, of God, yeah, yeah, Rule Word Allah, of God. Messiah, yeah. the Messiah, yeah. the Christ, Messiah, the Quran. The so, so the Quran uses all these topics or titles. But the for main titles, Isa ibn Maryam, over 20 times. Why do you say main? Okay. Why do you say main? No, his name is mentioned. His okay. name is mentioned. Messiah is mentioned. Only Nabi Allah, times. Rasul. Messiah is 11 times. The is only a few times. Just because a, a title is mentioned more than other titles doesn't mean that that is the main title. It doesn't mean. Okay, it doesn't so mean. That's just a decision. Okay. So the title. point. Your next point was. Can you just explain us why how do you Allah. respond? Okay. How do you respond? Allah makes presentation. Someone else. Yeah. Okay. First of all. That theory is not in the Quran. It's not there. Uh, well, let me read it. Yeah. Let me read well, it's not it's there. In the Arabic. I know it's the Quran in, in Arabic. I, I know the verse in Arabic. I it's not there. I the Quran here, which yeah. is given to me by Muslims. Are you trying to tell me that this Muslims is not in the Quran? Quran. They were twisting your scripture. How they many versions of the Quran are there? <laughs> okay, I will read. So this Quran is not written for the mosque. That's where I bought it many, about 10 years ago. Okay. And it says this. And because of this, and I'm not reading the brackets. In the brackets, that means it's not in the Arabic. I'm only reading the translation from the Arabic, not okay. the brackets. And because of this saying, we killed Messiah Isa, son of Miriam, Maryam, the messenger of Allah. Three things there, folks. It mentions Messiah, not understanding. This is a divine title. Second of all, son of Maryam, a fourth century description of Jesus. Theory. My translation wait, 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 w
Absolutely. Would you let me finish my sentences? Is that okay? Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, thank you. First of all, what you are referring to is the substitution theory. The theory goes that there was another man, there was another man who was made to look like Jesus and he was put on the cross. Wait, wait, wait. Are you debating me? Or, uh, am I talking? Okay, so let me finish. Let me finish. The, the, the thing is, the thing is, you got to choose someone who I can talk to. And they have chosen. But, yeah. So, this theory is called the substitution theory. That someone else was made to look like Jesus and he was put on the cross. This theory is non-existent in the Quran. I can read the verse word by word and translate it. him. As for their saying, Inna katalna al Masih, we have killed the Messiah, the son of Mary, right? Isa ibn Maryam Rasulullah. Wama kataluhum, they killed him not. Let me finish. Wama salabuhu, they crucified him not. Walakin shubbi alahum, rather it appeared to them so. So the theory, let me, as, as I said, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So the theory, the theory you are superimposing on the Quran is not there. It says, Wait. Okay. Let me. Exactly. She never said anything. So let me. If you let me finish, you will understand. I'm not talking about the theory. If you let me finish, you will understand my point. So when the Quran says, how do you answer that? I'm trying to answer, but you wouldn't let me. Okay, answer, but no theory. No. It appeared to be Jesus. Okay, no, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. I know what it says. It's in Arabic. I know what it says. It says walakin. Let me translate. Walakin. Wait, word by word translation. Word by word translation. Walakin. Um, walakin means but. Okay. Walakin. Shubbeha lahum. Shubbeha means appeared to them. Lahum to them. Okay. So now the Quran is very clear here that they thought it appeared to them so. Okay. Now what does that mean? Yes. Can I? Yeah. What does that mean? The Quran does not say there was another man who was given the appearance of Jesus and then put on the cross. This is what the Christians said in the second century. Wait. Well, oh, wait, well, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> so let me finish. Yeah, let me. So there was a group called Basilidians who actually believed that was it was Simon of Cyrene, one of the disciples of Jesus, who was given his appearance and he was put on the cross. And when he was crucified, when Simon was crucified, Jesus was standing right next to the cross, laughing at the Romans that they have actually crucified the wrong man. So, so this is a Christian theory. I'm saying this comes from a Christian. Wait. Wait, 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 so you wouldn't let me talk, would you let me talk, let him finish, look at them, look at them, one, two, three, four, five people talking to me, let him finish, let me finish, if you let me finish, I don't want to lose my voice, I don't want to lose my voice, so can I quickly finish my point, let me finish my point, let me finish my point. Change. You can't ask a question. Give me one more minute and I'm finished. Okay, give me one more minute. One more minute and I'm finished. Okay, I'm, I'm finished. Okay, so the ba so, 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 so what happened there? Basilidians, a Christian group in the second century, had this belief. Now, what happened was when the commentators of the Quran in the later centuries were commenting on the Quran, what they did was they gathered information from Jews, from Christians, from Muslim sources, and they put them all together and they gave these theories as plausible understandings of the Quran. Okay? Now, this particular theory, what we call the substitution theory, comes from the Christians. And some of the Muslim commentators, they put it in their commentaries, saying that this may be one of the meanings. Okay, okay, wait, let me, let me, yeah. okay, this is how, what? okay, yes, please, go ahead. They never read I'm Christian. So I'm Christian. Yes. yes no, it is essential to my Christian doctrine what happened on the cross. I've got first century writings. No one denies what happened on the cross. Jesus Christ crucified on the cross. You just give me the name of from the second century and then you say that was the belief. Okay? That is just waste of time, sir. You know what? Is that true? You know what? What you know what? Is you know what? Is it true though? This is not a Christian it, sect. It's the Basilidian. It it's the Basilidian. Let me finish. Who wrote in? Who wrote in second century? Who wrote in second century? What was? What, how many population they had, sir? How many population they had? 
Where? In the second century, man. I don't know. Well, you, you don't know. So, I don't know. Where? What about people? What about people? You are talking. They are not majority. I don't have any census. I don't have any census from the Romans. I don't have any census. I don't have any census from the Romans. I have no access to any census. Do you have a census? We don't have any census from Romans. What happened to Jesus on the cross? As Orthodox to respond to me, as an Orthodox Christian okay. who believe Jesus Christ died on the cross. Because okay. what Hajan has just said is that the person or the book of Adnan quoted from is a second century Gnostic gospel, which by the way, the New Testament is a challenges. It's the Christian. So why does the author of the Quran not understand the historical events as everyone else taught them? What event are you are you referring to? The crucifixion. First of all, you would like you would have to prove historically that crucifixion actually took place. Yes. And you gave references. You said Tacitus spoke about it, Josephus spoke about it, Thales spoke about it, and the Gospels speak about it. No problem. Let's discuss them one by one. No, no, no. We want you to answer. I'm answering. Why does the Quran? But I'm answering. Why does the Quran I'm go against a historical I'm fact I'm that not only does the New Testament attend on I am going to address your point. The first point is to... And who died on that cross in the Quran, okay. Adnan? Who first, died on that cross? First point is to establish whether the crucifixion of, or the alleged crucifixion of Christ is historical. That's the first point. Before you point a finger at the Quran. Wait, wait, wait. Before you point... If you let me finish, if you let me finish. For both Islam and Christianity, he is correct. If it's com a complete written down record, he is correct. Okay, this is, this is, wait, this is incorrect because we have, I have, I'm a numismatician, I collect coins, and I have coins from the first century of Islam with an entire chapter of the Quran on him, on them, dated coins from the first century. So you're, you're, you're not, yeah, yeah, okay. So you said there's nothing, you said there's nothing for Islam. Each manuscript for both the Quran and the Bible from the, and the New Testament from the first century. You are correct on that. 
Okay. But this is what's interesting. I don't we want... have over 90... Let's go back to me, the crucifixion me, and that. I am. Let's I am. go back to the you, crucifixion. Listen, so, you're raising points and you don't let me respond. Okay, let's ask the question. You just said there's nothing. You said there's nothing complete. I'm saying, I'm claiming now categorically here, in front of all these people, Actually, yeah, we have over 90% of the Quran. We have over 90% of the Quran from the first century. Wait, wait. You have to disprove the statement that you made. Simple. Atun, can I finish my point? 650. That was the point. Can I finish my point? Question stands again. But can I possibly finish my point? Can you give me the name of the person who describes the crucifixion from the first century? Okay. So, so I'm gonna come to that. Can we stick to one topic and then? That was the crucifixion. Yeah. Okay. But then, then don't throw things in the middle and say they have nothing from the first century, which is a lie. Which is a lie. You know this. That's a lie. You, you have know? no complete Quranic manuscript from so, the first century. So the point, coming back to crucifixion, we have over 90% of the Quran from the first century. We have it. In global libraries, we have it. Okay. Now coming to the crucifixion. Crucifixion, the Christians have virtually nothing. Zero. Nil. Zero. Okay. From the first century, nothing. Not even a fragment. We have over 90% of the Quran in manuscript form, in inscriptions on rocks, on coins, and on parchments, and, in, and on papyri. And on papyri. We have. So there's no the comparison. Why okay. Christians don't have those many secrets? Okay. Because Christians have been persecuted. Christians have been persecuted. And they have been persecuted. That is the reason why we don't have any many secrets from the first century. But that cannot be that cannot be reason for Islam. Islam so they still don't so you're agreeing with so you are in agreement with me. So you are in agreement with me. You are giving the reasons as to why Christians don't have anything from the first century, which is acceptable. Crucifixion, crucifixion. your terms. Question is very, very simple. Right now we are guiding okay. the so, so how long do I have? How, do have the name how long? Right? One minute? I mean, Can I have one minute? Is, 60 what? seconds. We are on a debate. We are on a simple question. Say it on the side. We will come so, to So give me the courtesy. You're shouting over him. Can you give us the name? Give me the courtesy of completing my sentences. And Okay. 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 I want to address the point raised by Beth earlier that there is Tacitus, there's Josephus, and there's Thales. Do you want to talk about that? Do you want to talk about that? We are talking about the crucifixion. But you raised that point so, well, no, to prove crucifixion. We said, we said right? there are secular historians yes. that affirm that Jesus died. So let's now, talk about it. Secular historians don't believe in Jesus. I understand they, that. They don't follow him. I'm not him, making that point. But they okay. do I say accept he died. That. I'm yes. saying they didn't say it. This is the point I'm making. No, no. Question. Josephus. Can you the question? Wait. Question. Can I, I answer you? I am asking one man from first century who can discredit the crucifixion. At least give me the respect of finishing my sentences. Okay. Josephus, Josephus, who is thought to have written in the second century, and there are two passages that refer to Jesus Christ in his writings. One of them is more important than the other, which says that Jesus was a good man, the Messiah, who was killed and buried and rose on the third day and he did wonderful things. We know and every historian who has studied Josephus carefully knows that he was a Pharisaic Jew. He was a Pharisee. Okay. He did not believe in Jesus Christ and he could not have written this. Scholars are unanimous. There is a unanimous agreement among scholars. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. I'm finishing now. 
I'm finishing. Hey, I'm finishing now. He was writing other people. Let me, let me finish my point. Okay, let me finish my point. I'm helping you to make your point correct. Now. Okay. <laughs> all historians, all. I'm saying all historians on Josephus. Okay, wait. Are unanimous that this particular passage is added by a later, later Catholic hand because Josephus, being a Pharisaic Jew, couldn't have written this. This. And, and, and guess what? His argument is... What? His argument is I just simply cannot finish the sentence. Well, his argument is based on conjecture. No, he says, no, because it no. was a Jew, if you let no me finish, you will see. would accept that Jesus if you died let me and finish, rose again. He said that's a Jew. You, you won't let me finish. But the earliest... Okay. Let me finish. Let did say he died and rose again. Who said that? Who said that? Who? Josephus. No, who died. said Josephus said that? Who said Josephus said that? The, Which historian? What? Which historian? Oh, okay. no, Which historian no. said Josephus actually said that? Adam, now, give me one name. Adam. One name. One name. There's no name. Okay. Adam, Adam is trying to derail this give me discussion. One name. Which historian Adam said? Adam does not want to address the problem of the Quran, which says that the image, or at least it looks like So, 
My translation says this, but it appeared so to them. Hachot Quran translation says, May to resemble him to them. So may to resemble him, whoever the him is. We're, because it's talking about Isa, we, we suppose it's Isa. Okay? So someone was made to resemble Isa so on may that I, cross. May I? May I? Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, wait, wait, wait. Beth, Beth spoke for almost five minutes and I did not interrupt her once. So, I don't even wait, start wait, 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 Maybe you will get the answer. You can you demonstrate some Christian courtesy? Can you demonstrate some Christian courtesy and let me answer? Would you let me answer? Would you let me answer? Would you let me answer? Would you? Would you? Now give him five minutes without interrupting him. No, no, I don't need five minutes. I don't need five minutes. I don't need five minutes. Just speak. Just speak. You have repeated your questions almost ten times, but you don't want answers. Okay, can you remain silent for two minutes? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Can you remain silent for two minutes? For two minutes? You're, now you're looking bad. Now you're looking bad. You're actually looking bad now. Seriously. Two minutes. Two minutes. Come on. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. One minute. One minute. One minute. Sixty seconds. Sixty. Seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I was asked about 20 questions in the last five minutes and I am expected to answer all of them in one minute. I will, I will, look, again you wouldn't let me finish, you would not let me finish, I did not, I, just be quiet for two minutes. Okay, wait, 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 okay. Sammy, take him on the side, take him on the side, take him on the side, wait, you're making noise here, wait, I request, I request your silence for two minutes. Is that possible? Is that possible? You spoke for five minutes. I was silent. I didn't interrupt. Is that fair? Is that fair? Hello? Is that fair? Is that fair? If you okay, if you don't let me speak, I'll walk away. I'll walk away. No problem. I am answering. Can you remain silent for two minutes? Do not interrupt me for two minutes. Is that okay? Is that okay? Two minutes. What? Two minutes. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. 120 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, 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 shh, 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 shh. these ladies raised a number of points on this topic of crucifixion. Beth claimed that Tacitus wrote about it, Josephus wrote about it, and Thales wrote about it. All of these people, their manuscripts come from the 9th century onward. The earliest manuscript of Tacitus we have is from the 9th century onwards. Okay, and they were written by Catholic hands. Most Christian and non-Christian scholars, they believe that all of these manuscripts have been interpolated. People, Christian writers were adding information into them, such as Josephus. There is a scholarly unanimity on the point that Josephus was actually added to in this particular topic, or on this particular topic. So where Josephus says that Jesus died, crucified, and he was buried and he rose on the third day and he was a great man, did wonders. Most scholars believe Josephus was interpolated. This was added by a Catholic, Catholic hand later on. So you're not telling people the truth. There's nothing from the... The earliest manuscript of Josephus comes from the 8th century. It's in Arabic and it doesn't have the passage. It doesn't have. That's the earliest manuscript of Josephus we have. Now coming to cru crucifixion, your question. Why did God deceive people on the issue of crucifixion. God did not deceive people. God is simply saying in the Quran that it appeared to them so. They thought this is what happened because many people came to believe that. So a story goes around, for example, I am Adnan Rashid, my name is Adnan Rashid, and people start to talk about me and they say, I am so and so. And then another man says, I'm so and so. And the story spreads, okay? And by the time the story reaches um, another town or another people, 
it has become a fact. Without asking me, without researching the facts, it has already become a fact. This is what happened to crucifixion. Okay, so Wait, let me. I'm not finished. No, I'm not finished. No, no, I'm not finished. No, okay. One minute thirty-three. So can you respond? One minute thirty-three. One minute thirty-three. Two minutes. Twenty minutes. Can you respond to my point? My point on history. On history as well. I would love to know name of the people who discredited Okay? Even though we don't have their manuscripts from the first century, second century, but I would love to know people who discredit them. When are the manuscripts from? But still my question still stands. My question still stands. Give me one name from first century who discredits the account of the crucifixion. I am asking only one name. Don't give me the name of Allah. He failed to give me the explanation. My second question. My second question regarding the history. I would love to know who was on the cross. What was the blame has been made to that person? I would love to know what kind of creator doesn't even bother to tell the mom. Take, take Dear Mary, your son is didn't die. Can I respond? I haven't Can finished. I, respond? I, I haven't finished yet, sir. How many questions? I don't know. Can you know them? Exactly. I, don't know. Don't know. I only get two minutes to answer. But there are 20 questions. Are this is not a tip. Ask me one question. One question is the ladder. They're on the ladder. Can I have one ladder? You don't make it easy on your own. How many questions? How many questions? And how much time? I have lots of questions because Quran doesn't Ask me one question and I'll answer. Ask me one question and I'll answer. First question. First question. One name from first century discredits the crucifixion. If something never happened, why would someone discredit it? Why does the Quran spend so much time trying to discredit it? Isn't that interesting? Okay. The Quran. Can I respond? Can I respond? That tries to discredit the crucifixion at first. That's a good this question. That's a good question. Let me finish. This is what's very interesting. When you read the rest of the verses from Surah 4, 156 up to 159 and a little bit onwards, what is very interesting, the story that it reflects, restores and reflects those second and fourth and seventh century stories that we were telling you about. So remember we talked about videos like this subscribe to Titans TV down below thanks the greatest darky that bike with sharp teeth and hate malarkey who you
the greatest heartbeat ancient Egypt has amazing. No, 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 la, la, la. Yehudi. So, no, no, Jewish. La ilaha illallah, Musa or Rasulallah. That's where everybody get bust up. You know, you remember Mike Tyson? You get bust up, you go in the Quran if you want to try to find shirk. Because it's not present. Allah Ta'ala says, and you remember the Quran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam Yalid. Walam Yulad. Walam Yakullahu Kufuan Ahad.